How did you decide to uh, do Sonny Chirac's recording, actually? That album, it turns out, and I didn't necessarily know this when I'd suggested it, um, but everybody in the band, it was it was a desert island. It was a desert island disc for all four of us. Um, so that was that just became a no brainer there. I mean, we were I think we were talking about it and we already had all the music all together for it and like our different books. And uh, so it was just, well, of course we'd do it. And uh, I got hip to that album back when it came out because it's the rare jazz record that ever got a Rolling Stone review. It's Mike Jeff for Chicago Jazz Magazine, chicagojazz.com, and welcome to another episode of Around Town. Today we have WDCB's very own, and of course a wonderful drummer in town, and a leader of an incredible trio, quartet, quintet, depending on the night you see them. Paul Abel is joining us. He's got a pretty interesting show coming up at Fulton Street Collective. Of course, that's 1821 West Hubbard right here in Chicago. We'll talk all about the Fulton Street Collective if you're not familiar with that. It's very unique performance opportunities for musicians, and Chris Anderson's been running it for many years, so we'll talk about that. But on April 19th, Paula Bella's group, Paula Bella's Questionable Decisions, is going to be performing, and they're going to be performing the music of Sonny Chirac, and they're actually going to be performing the music from specific, a specific album, which is Ask the Ages, which came out in 1991, I believe. So let's talk a little bit about this and Paul. And of course, I've known Paul for many years, so it's great to have him on the show. Paul, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing I'm doing great. You've got uh, you're always performing all over the place. And I know but this is a very unique show. And yeah. You know, let's talk a little bit about Fulton Street Collective first so we can get everybody up to speed. Chris Anderson, he's been curating this this performance space for many years now. And he does the Jazz Record Art Collective there. And then he has the Fulton Street Collective Jazz Series. And you're part of one or both of those because what he's been doing is sometimes he features original music, but then sometimes he has musicians come in, high-level musicians in Chicago, and they come in and they actually recreate an entire album from a specific artist. And that's what you guys are going to be doing on April 19th at 7.30 p.m. So how did you? How did it come about and how did you decide to uh, do Sonny Chirac's recording, actually? So... Uh... It's uh, so that album, it turns out, and I didn't necessarily know this when I'd suggested it, um, but everybody in the band, it was it was a desert island. It was a desert island disc for all four of us. Um, so that was that just became a no brainer there. I mean, we were I think we were talking about it and we already had all the music all together for it and like our different books. And uh, so it was just, well, of course we'd do it. And uh, I got hip to that album back when it came out because it's the rare jazz record that ever got a rolling stone review mm -hmm. um and you know i was like i was like what like 17 when they 16 or 17 when it came out um and just the lineup was amazing too i you know uh it's a bill laswell production who of course had done stuff for public image limited and had done stuff on his own got ginger baker off of heroin and, and drumming again um and so he did this great jazz project with Elvin Jones, Charnett Moffitt as the bass player on it. Uh, Sonny Schrock, of course, is playing guitar. And Pharaoh Sanders is on there, too. Uh, one of the tunes on there, Little Rock, is actually dedicated to, to Pharaoh Sanders. So, you know, it's a it's a phenomenal album. And, you know, we jumped at the chance to do it. Well, so with the instrumentation, because I've I've seen you perform obviously many times, you use a cajon primarily. Are you going to be performing? Yeah. Are you playing drum set? Or are you playing cajon and you're recreating Elvin's uh, grooves and things like that on on the cajon? Uh, trying to, you can never recreate Elvin, but you can try. <laughs> um, trying to do it on the cajon, you know. I mean, it, uh, if I if I have the opportunity to be able to, you know, express myself uh, on that instrument, you know, where I, I feel like I'm, you know. Uh, I'm 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 able to do something a little different with it. Uh, I'm you know I'm going to. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the plan. Try to be Elvin on a cajon. <laughs> so who's in the group? Talk talk a little bit about the group because this is your regular your regular group that you play with the questionable decisions, right? Right. So um, so yeah, there are, there are three groups. 
uh, that I've, you know, kind of split my time with, but this one questionable decisions is a phenomenal group. Um, Alex wing, who is a uh, guitarist and bassist, uh, with a number of folks, uh, in the community, um, is playing guitar and he is just an awesome guitarist, um, uh, with like no fear at all. So he's the perfect guy to, you know, step into the sunny Chirac shoes. Uh, Preus Roy is our vibes player. Uh, you, if you spent any time in downtown Chicago, you've seen Preus playing with his band as he busks all over the place. Um, and he does the four mallet thing and he does it really, really well. Um, and then uh, Chris Bernhardt, uh, bassist that I love working with. And he's played in every kind of situation imaginable from, you know, straight ahead jazz to blues to uh, 80s cover bands. So kind of does it all. Yeah, you know, and and both of us know Chris Anderson, and we should talk a little mm -hmm. bit about Chris Anderson because he's been curating this uh, performance space for many years now. And I mean, it's pretty interesting. I mean, so just so everybody knows, Paul is also on WDCB. Is I, I always forget. Are you the artistic director? Are you the program? What's your What's your official title? Because I know you. My official title is music director and morning show host. Okay, is so how, you know how it show up on the on the business card. All right. So, and you and I, I, obviously I found a Chicago jazz magazine. So we've known Chris for many years and, you know, I, I can't remember many places if, and actually I can't remember any places that for this amount of time has been curating music and having and getting really high level musicians to come into the venue and recreate famous recordings. I mean, can you mm -hmm. think of anybody other than this space? Cause it's a real special space that you're going to be playing at. Right. And, and I, yeah, I love the room, by the way, like, yeah, it's huge space, uh, exposed brick. It's, it's, uh, oh, I love playing there. Um, so yeah, you've got that. And, and so it's a special room and, and yeah, I don't think anybody's done that. And, you know, even in situations where like, maybe they, you know, maybe a, a venue expects a game plan going in, they're certainly not going to expect a game plan going in and be, you know, open to, well, just, you know, do whatever album you like that you really want to do. Right. Um, so. I mean, it's, it's pretty, I, I always find it interesting because you and I have both seen all the different musicians and all the different groups and all the different albums they've covered. I mean, they've covered Coltrane albums. They've covered, um, you know, Bitches Brew. They've covered, they've covered everything over at mm -hmm. Fulton Street Collective, but they're playing it down. You know, they're going in order. They're playing the album down and they're playing it as close to the original as possible until the improvisations happen. Is that the concept you guys are taking on with this as well? Just start to finish and playing it straight through and uh, trying to get as close as possible with what's happening on the actual recording? Uh, yes, definitely playing all six tunes all the way through uh, or, you know, playing all six tunes in order that they show up on the album. Um, you know, already the instrumentation is different yeah. than on the original album. Um, and I, I used that as a challenge. Like there were suggestions that we bring in, uh, a couple different sax players that we really like working with. Uh, but I was like, no, this is, this is our band. We all love this record. Let's, you know, let's call this a challenge and, you know, put our stamp on this. So, um, and one of the arrangements that we're working on, uh, for one of the tunes actually, uh, is not the version on that album. It's a version that uh, this group called the Mesthetics did. Um, and they covered it on their first album. And Mesthetics is the, the rhythm section from Fugazi and a uh, jazz guitarist uh, from Washington, D.C. as well, uh, Anthony Pirog. And they do a really beautiful version of uh, Once Upon a Time on their album. And that's the closing tune on, uh, on Ask the Ages. So we're going to hew a little closer to their arrangement than the one on the record. All right. So before we wrap this whole up, uh, whole thing up, let me remind everybody, April 19th, 7.30 p.m., Fulton Street Collective. Of course, it's FultonStreetCollective.com, 1821 West Hubbard. It's open to the public. They mm -hmm. also, once in a while, uh, le during the pandemic, they did it every single time. And, and I know it's been a little bit sporadic. They might be doing a live stream of this, too, and that's available on FultonStreetCollective.com. But you can get tickets. 7 30 p.m we'll send everybody over there what do you know what the cover is is it 15 bucks is that what it is i think it's 15 suggested uh donation so su suggested donation okay so you know donate what you want and yeah so, so we, we just want to see a lot of people come out 
50 to a hundred dollars. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, but get all the info. I think you can reserve space too. I mean, reserve, reserve a ticket online over at Fulton street collective.com. So check that out. And then before I let you go, should we send anybody over to your website, which is the Paula Bella trio.com, right? Is that what it is? Right. Yeah. I got to work on changing the name, but um, yeah. So that's, that's over there. By the time anybody uh, sees this, we'll have updated gig listings and all that sort of fun stuff. I don't, I can't make the 19th, but I look forward to seeing you guys performing somewhere. I know you guys sometimes do those outdoor things at the Montrose Saloon and all those other places too, which is always a fun hang in the summer. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be awesome. Good time. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks for being on. And of course, I want to thank everybody for watching. And of course, everything Chicago Jazz is chicagojazz.com. And until next time, hopefully I will see you all somewhere out on the scene.